In the heart of South Texas, a monumental transformation has finally reached its long-awaited conclusion, one that has reshaped the skyline of Corpus Christi and set a new benchmark in American infrastructure. Towering above the bay is a bridge like no other in the state, taller than the Statue of Liberty, boasting the longest concrete cable-stayed span in the nation and engineered to last nearly two centuries. As one of Texas's most ambitious transportation endeavors, this project has replaced an aging 1950s-era bridge with a modern marvel that unlocks new economic and logistical possibilities for the entire region. The road to completion was anything but smooth. The project faced years of delays, complex engineering challenges, and multiple contractor setbacks. But through it all, the vision endured to build a safer, more efficient, and iconic structure that would serve generations. Now open to the public after nearly a decade of hurdles, how will this bridge shape the future of South Texas? Today, let's delve into the Texas New Harbor Bridge. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Completed in 1959, the original Harbor Bridge once stood as a proud symbol of mid-century American engineering. Designed as a steel-through-arch bridge, it served the Corpus Christi community for over six decades, connecting the bustling port of Corpus Christi with the city and supporting both commuter and commercial traffic. But as time passed, the bridge became increasingly outdated. Its narrow lanes, lack of shoulders, and aging design no longer met modern safety standards or traffic demands. More critically, its limited vertical clearance of just 138 feet became a growing obstacle for the port's development, restricting the entry of larger, modern cargo ships. This shortfall posed a significant economic limitation at a time when global maritime trade was rapidly evolving. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, the Texas Department of Transportation began a feasibility study in 2003. By 2008, the conclusion was clear. The old bridge could no longer support the future. A full replacement was not only inevitable, it was essential. And so began the journey toward one of Texas's most ambitious and transformative infrastructure projects. From its inception, the vision for the New Harbor Bridge was bold and forward-looking. The chosen design, a striking cable-stayed structure using concrete segmental spans, was intended to blend functionality with architectural elegance. At its heart is the bridge's massive main span, now officially the longest of its kind in the United States, stretching 1,661 feet across the bay. Its soaring pylons rise 538 feet above the water, making it not only the tallest structure in South Texas, but now a defining feature of the Corpus Christi skyline. Originally designed by FIG Bridge engineers, the bridge was envisioned as more than just a transportation link. It was meant to be a civic landmark, a source of community pride. The final design includes six wide traffic lanes, three in each direction, with expanded shoulders and a central median barrier to improve safety. In a nod to community inclusivity, the structure also features a shared-use path for pedestrians and cyclists, flanked by scenic public plazas at each end. Nighttime LED lighting adds a dramatic and welcoming visual identity to the structure, turning it into a beacon over the bay. But the project's scope extends far beyond the bridge itself. In total, more than six miles of highway were upgraded or realigned, including major improvements to US-181 new interchanges, and enhanced connections to both Interstate 37 and State Highway 286. These enhancements were essential not only for improving traffic flow, but also for unlocking the full logistical benefits of the new bridge. With a vertical clearance of 205 feet, significantly higher than the previous bridge's 138 feet, the new structure finally allows the Port of Corpus Christi to welcome larger post-Panamax vessels, dramatically expanding the region's trade capacity and reinforcing its status as one of the nation's leading ports by tonnage. Construction of the new Harbor Bridge officially began in August 2016, with an estimated cost of about $930 million and an initial target for completion in 2020. 
The project was awarded to Flat Iron Dragados, a joint venture that brought early confidence and momentum to the effort. The initial phases progressed smoothly, with rapid development on the bridge's foundations and approach segments. There was a strong sense of anticipation in Corpus Christi. Local businesses expected a boost in traffic, and port officials looked forward to receiving larger vessels. The community welcomed the planned aesthetic improvements and enhanced road connectivity the bridge would bring. At the time, the bridge symbolized progress and possibility. But that early optimism would soon be disrupted by a series of challenges that no one had anticipated. What began with promise soon descended into a series of technical and legal complications. In March 2018, a pedestrian bridge designed by Fig Bridge engineers collapsed at Florida International University, resulting in six fatalities. Although the designs were unrelated, the incident triggered widespread scrutiny of FIG's engineering practices. By 2019, work on the New Harbor Bridge's main span was halted as an independent engineering firm was brought in to review its safety. The findings were serious, multiple structural issues were flagged. FIG was ultimately removed from the project, causing delays and requiring major redesigns of key elements. In 2021, further problems emerged when new engineers identified more design flaws in the delta frame, a critical component of cable-stayed bridges. Once again, work paused for reassessment and modifications. As the setbacks mounted, the timeline was pushed back repeatedly, and the project's costs climbed to nearly $1.2 billion. After years of halted progress and public frustration, a breakthrough finally came in 2022. The new engineering teams, in collaboration with the developers, revised and certified the structural designs, clearing the way for construction on the main span to resume. Enhanced safety protocols and improved quality control were put in place as the project moved forward with renewed momentum. By late 2023, the towering pylons began to take shape over Corpus Christi Bay signaling that the long-stalled project was regaining momentum. In early 2025, the bridge reached a major milestone with the completion of its main span. This pivotal achievement marked the turning point in a project many had once doubted would be finished. The 538-foot-high pylons now fully support the cable-stayed structure, which stretches across the bay in an impressive sweep of precision engineering. Construction wrapped up in mid-2025, with all roadway segments and interchanges completed. Traffic began flowing across the new structure in late June, and the long-awaited ribbon-cutting marked the bridge's official opening. What was once a symbol of repeated setbacks has now become a proud emblem of progress, reshaping Corpus Christi's skyline and future. Designed with a projected lifespan of 170 years, the new Harbor Bridge has been built to stand the test of time, far exceeding the durability of most modern bridges. From materials to design methods to long-term maintenance planning, every element reflects a forward-looking approach rooted in resilience and sustainability. Located in a region prone to hurricanes, the bridge has been engineered to withstand powerful wind loads and seismic activity. Its elevated profile not only allows for greater clearance for maritime traffic, but also offers increased protection against storm surges and rising sea levels. From a structural standpoint, it showcases the latest advancements in cable-stayed bridge design, enabling longer spans with fewer supports, ideal for minimizing impacts on both navigation and the surrounding bay environment. With construction complete and the southbound lanes now open to traffic, the new Harbor Bridge has entered a new chapter. No longer a project in progress, but a vital artery in South Texas. The ceremonial ribbon cutting in late June 2025 marked a symbolic handover from years of effort to everyday use, ushering in a new era of mobility and opportunity for Corpus Christi. The northbound lanes are scheduled to open shortly after 4th of July, completing the full transition to the new structure. Traffic has now been fully rerouted to the new structure, and demolition of the old bridge is underway, a poignant moment for longtime residents who have crossed it for generations.
For the people of Corpus Christi and the surrounding region, the new bridge signals the beginning of a new era, one defined by stronger connectivity, expanded economic potential, and a landmark built not just for today, but for decades to come. In the years ahead, it will carry millions of vehicles, witness countless sunrises over the bay, and become an integral part of daily life in South Texas. What are your thoughts on this mega bridge? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.